And before I close our Global Forum, I want to acknowledge how we are feeling. We came to Global Forum because we thought it was important to be together. I don't think we imagined how desperately we needed to be together. It is easy to feel hopeless right now. But the isolation that we may feel doom-scrolling social media in our homes in Australia or South Africa, in Atlanta or Kansas City, France or Argentina, that can be overcome. How? By joining together as one unified Jewish community where we stand together and declare to the world that we don't need permission to be proud Jews and proud Zionists. That is who we are. We don't. In, in 10 years, in 50 years, they're going to write the history of this moment. They're going to talk about the world since October 7th and the history of the Jewish community following the deadliest attack on our people since the Holocaust. On October 6th, that story, that story was being written was one that was about division and strife. But the story of our people since 10-7 is a story of unity because we are fighting back. When Rachel Goldberg says that she gets every, up every morning and runs to the end of the earth advocating for Hirsch, the least we can do is run to the end of the earth advocating for Israel and the Jewish people. And when, and when the president of Israel, just weeks after October 7th, looks a group of AJC leaders in the eye and tells us to do everything, that's what we do. If you are part of this incredible gathering, or if you're watching online, that is my message to all of you.